this golf cart is leaning to the side. Yes, it really is. This is common on older golf carts. A lot of the time when someone's only sitting on the driver's side on a golf cart and never on the passenger side, it causes the leaf springs on one side to wear out and the golf cart feels like it's leaning. And it actually is if we take a look here. So what is the solution to this problem? A new set of heavy duty leaf springs. Let's see what's included here. So I picked this up online from 10LOL here. I'll leave a link in the description. And this kit here includes everything we need to fix a leaning car and beef up your rear suspension. Here we have two of our heavy duty triple rear leaf springs. These are going to be a big improvement for what's on there. I'll show you the difference when we get one off. There's the second one. They include new U-bolts, in case your old ones are rusted. And they also include a set of bushings, and this is a great thing for them to include because this is part of a standard maintenance procedure anyway. So I'm going to show you how to replace all this stuff right now. Alright, step one, let's get these back tires up off the ground. There we go, let's pop off the back wheels. Now that the wheels are off, let's go ahead and grab a 9 16 here and take the back shackles off of these leaf springs. And let's get that front leaf spring bolt. If these have been in for many years, sometimes they'll need some convincing. There we go, we got it out. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is remove the bolts from the bottom of this old U-bolt here that's holding the rear to these leaf springs. Now before we do that, I put a block of steel here to support the back of the cart because this jack is holding the rear end of the cart and we are going to actually detach this part of the rear end by removing this leaf spring. And if we do it one in time, we won't have to remove the entire rear, but it's helpful to have something here to support the cart frame and support the rear end so it doesn't move too much. So let's go ahead and see if we can get these nuts off the bottom of the bolt here. I've got a 5.8 size on my little impact here. I think one of those is going to need some extra help. Let's try this, see what happens. And we should be able to lift this U-bolt off of here now. There it is. Now let's see if we can remove this old leaf spring. And there it is. Let's compare them. So here we're looking at the difference between the old factory leaf springs and the heavy duty triple leaf springs I got from 10 LOL. You can see there's a huge difference in the quality and durability of these. If you're going to put anything with any weight on the back of your cart, like a back seat or a utility box, I highly recommend putting on a set of these. I'm going to be putting a back seat on this golf cart soon, so we're going for the heavy duty springs. You can see the difference there. Same size and shape, but way better quality. And they were also nice enough to send some new U-bolts, so that's a great improvement as well. Let's go ahead and put in these bushings. So these bushings on the old leaf springs aren't actually in awful shape compared to most of that I've seen, but let's go ahead and put some new bushings in the new springs. So we're just going to go ahead and put a rubber cap on each side. We can tap that a couple times with a hammer. Get that seated in there. Let's flip it over. We'll do the other end.
and now we're going to slide these sleeves into the new bushings. Sometimes it takes a bit of force to slide those bushings into the new rubber, but it's a nice tight fit when it's done. Our new leaf springs with our new bushings. Let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, let's see if we can slide this spring in the same way we removed the old one. Pretty close right there. Let's try to line up some of these bolts. Okay, so we got this front one pretty close. Let's see if we can get this bolt through it. Not bad. Let's start this nut on the back. Leave that loose for now. We'll come back and tighten it in a second. Let's check the back side. I'm actually lowering my jack here as we go to put a little bit more weight on the rear end. Pull down on the spring some. I might pry on this a little bit with something to help get it lined up as well. There we go, we've got the front and back bolts through, holding the leaf spring in place. Let's see if we can get this U-bolt lined up on here. There we go, and now let's get these bolts tightened up for this new U-bolt. There we go, as you can see that pulls it nice and tight on this side. Now the wheel for this side. Now let's repeat the process over here. So as you can see, some rust on those bolts can make them extremely difficult to get out of their sleeves inside of those bushings. And surprisingly, that front one came out pretty easy compared to how the back one was, so that's unusual, but always a nice surprise. Let's get that U-bolt off of there. I think these are going to need a little help as well. Good bit of rust on these old bolts. I'm glad they included new ones with this kit. There we go, we finally got that off of there. Let's see if we can remove this spring now. And let's put the bushings in the new one. All that banging made my camera zoom in by itself, but hopefully you can still see what's going on there. Let's slide this new spring in there. That's pretty close right there. Let's get the bolts lined up. All right, got those in there. Now let's get this U-bolt on. Yeah. 
So as you can see, it looks a bunch better. It's not leaning nearly as badly. And the back end now is ready for some of those attachments that you might put on it, like a rear seat or a cargo box or a trailer hitch or whatever you want to put back there. As you can see, it's a bunch more level. And uh, I feel like that's a great upgrade to your cart and also a great maintenance thing because it replaces those rubber bushings. So thanks again to LLOL for these heavy duty leaf springs for the Club Car DS. And uh, stay tuned for more John Deere videos and golf cart videos coming soon. Thanks for watching.